Good evening and welcome to the Daily Market Update. The DSEX remained in the red zone for the third consecutive day and lost 60.72 points, or 1.14 percent, settling at 5,270 points. Market turnover was 4.33 billion Bangladeshi takas, which is a decrease of 3.88 percent compared to the previous trading day. Renata, Square Pharmaceuticals and Beximco Pharmaceuticals from the pharmaceutical sector, Grameen Phone from the telecommunication sector, and Olympic and British American Tobacco from the food and allied sector mainly dragged the market down today. In terms of sector-wise return, almost all the sectors posted a loss today in which the NBFI sector posted the highest loss of 2.55 percent and industrial sector registered registered the second highest loss of 2.33% today. Five food and allied and five insurance companies were among the top 20 losers today. Techno Drugs, First Finance and Reliance Insurance registered the highest gain while Padma Islami Life Insurance, Libra Infusions and National Tea Company were the top losers today. Techno Drugs registered as one of the gainers today as they recently made their trading debut. Reliance Insurance registered as one of the top gainers as they posted a positive earnings growth today. Padma Islami Life Insurance fell today due to being demoted to the ZE category. And stockbrokers and merchant bankers are instructed not to provide loan facility to purchase securities of the company. There is no publicly disclosed price sensitive information for the price change of the remaining stocks. The trading volume of Techno Drugs, Shaji Bazaar Power Company and Reket Ben Kizer increased significantly today compared to the average trading volume of the last three months. The volume of Reket Ben Kizer increased significantly today as they are scheduled to have their board of directors meeting on the 31st of July. There is no publicly disclosed material reason for the volume increase of the remaining stocks. Top two news today. The price of remittance dollars rose to 119 Bangladeshi takas and 40 paise after the central bank directed several banks to increase increase rates to encourage higher dollar inflows. Remittance inflows had dropped over the past week due to disruptions from the quota reform movement, a five-day internet blackout, and a three-day bank closure. To boost remittance flow, the Bangladesh Bank issued verbal instructions to several banks on Sunday to buy remittance dollars at higher rates. Consequently, the remittance dollar rate surged by 60 to 70 basis points in a single day. In the last fiscal year, the World Bank emerged as the largest foreign lender to Bangladesh, dispersing 2.154 billion United States dollars for various projects. The Asian Development Bank provided 2.135 billion United States dollars, while Japan provided 1.91 billion United States dollars. Additionally, the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank provided 644 million United States dollars and other countries and organizations contributed a total of 1.053 billion United States dollars that's all for today thank you